2005 Form B, BC test question number three. Now this is a calculator question and it's good for you to see exactly how much you might use a calculator on a problem like this. The Taylor series about x equals zero, so that tells us that we're working with a Maclaurin series. For a certain function f converges to f of x for all x in the interval of convergence. We don't know what that interval of convergence is. It actually probably is something we're going to find out later. The nth derivative of f at x equals 0 is given by the nth derivative of f at 0 is negative 1, etc. You can see all that. And the graph of f has a horizontal tangent line at x equals 0 and f of 0 is equal to 6. So the first thing that we're asked to do is to determine whether f has a relative min, a relative max, or neither at x equals 0, and then to justify our answer. Well, the first thing we know is that, uh, first of all, that derivative formula above works for n greater than or equal to 2. So that means from the second derivative on, the first f0 is equal to 6 is a given and based on the fact that we have a horizontal tangent line at x we also know that f prime of 0 is equal to 0. So these two things are kind of implied there. Now how do we know whether we have a relative max, a relative min, or neither at x equals 0? Well that's going to depend on what the second derivative is. Recall that if you have a second derivative positive that means that the function is concave up and if you have a zero derivative on that interval, it must be a minimum. If you have a second derivative negative and f prime of zero equals zero in that interval, then f prime of zero, f of zero. So let me just, I, I did make a mistake in the first part of that. f prime of zero equals zero means that you have a minimum at f of zero. And you could just say that that would be f of 0 would be a minimum. So it all depends on what the value of the second derivative is. And all we need to do is to plug in n equals 2 into the function above and see what we get. So when n equals 2, we're going to have negative 1 to the third power, which will give us a negative sign. And that alone is probably enough to tell us that the second derivative is less than 0, which means that we're working with this case and we probably have a maximum there. Let's go through and find the values. Next we have n plus 1 factorial, n is 2, so we have 3 factorial. And that's over 5 to the n, where n is 2, it's going to give us 5 squared, times n minus 1 to the second power. If n is equal to 2, that's going to give us 1 squared. And that works out to be negative 6 25ths, and that tells us then that f of 0 is a relative max because f prime of 0 equals 0 and f prime prime or the second derivative of f at 0 is negative and therefore we have a maximum. That's all you need to say on that. All right, next we're asked to find the third degree Taylor polynomial for f about x equals 0. I'm going to scroll up just a bit here. All right, what I need for the third degree Taylor polynomial is I need to go to the uh, x to the third term. So that would be the third degree Taylor polynomial for f of x about x equals 0. And I just need to fill in all these pieces. I already know it's given above that f of 0 is equal to x to 6. Furthermore, we know that f prime of 0 is equal to 0. So that whole term goes away. And we've already calculated the second term. Or I should say we've calculated the co not the whole coefficient. We've calculated the second derivative. We still need to put that over 2 factorial. And then we need to calculate the third derivative. And negative 1 to the fourth is going to be positive. Then we have 3 plus 1, which is 4 factorial. 5 to the n, which is 5 to the third. 3 minus 1, which is 2 to the second. And we need, still need to put that over 3 factorial. If you're running out of time, I would leave it exactly as it is there. But we can simplify it a bit. 3 factorial over 2 factorial is just 3. Then we have 5 squared times 2. And in third term, 4 factorial over 3 factorial is just 4. You can simplify out the numbers, uh, but it's not important. And you may make a mistake. But you do have your calculator on this problem. And that's it for that.